Hello everybody. This is me narrating because the sound went bad. A video on how to paint a pre-heresy dark angel. Here I am showing you the Kalth Marine on which I will demonstrate how to paint a pre-heresy dark angel. And now I shall show you the colour. Heavy charcoal by Vallejo. Reason being that you don't want to or I didn't want to use black as a base because you'll end up overcompensating and making him so light as to no longer appear black. You shall see by the end that he will look black again. I will now speed up the video as I continue to paint this base layer. Thank you. That was How Exciting by Revolution Void. This is me now talking about how grey he looks compared to before. Of course it is a shade of grey, a very dark shade of grey I've painted him. And I decide to next do the metallics. Which I think is important because generally they're the lowest thing on the model. And also they're very easy to cover if you... Uh, make an error as I do a couple of times um, but also they will ruin a paint job that was me showing off a Rosemary & Co brush I love Rosemary & Co Co brushes get them they don't pay me money though they should but get them yeah do metallics next because they uh, work from the the deepest part of the armor up um, and as I say, once you've painted all the lovely bits of detail and done all the highlighting and stuff, if you put a little bit of silver over some lovely gradiated highlights, you're just going to have to stand on the model and just, just destroy it. Just just send it to oblivion. So there I am being careful. We'll make a point here about how I'm using a size 1 brush, but because the brush is actually a decent brush, it's got just a tiny point on it, so it doesn't really matter. Having said that, you will see in a moment how I just make a stupid mess. I think I do it just like there. I don't know. But that's the point. It doesn't matter if you mess up here. There's one coat of of heavy charcoal on the model. You can just go over. Um, uh, I will speed it up again now. <laughs> was Asian women on the telephone <laughs> with sex audio and video that is what they were called I just wanted to jump in here to just say that I then move on I cut there quite abruptly because it's boring to watch me painting silver gonna now wash it with some gloss there you go um, I'll, I'll speed it all up all right, all right, all right. I, sp I can't think what I'm saying there. Uh, there's nothing to really say. Probably that I did make a couple of foolish errors, covered them up. No one can tell. That's why you do it in a specific order. It's much more difficult in the long run if you try and just rush in. Anyway, I'll speed it up. Must have been a tough week, we let that 
to flow. What happened next? Whew. Benji Manji and good feeling. <laughs> it's time for the first shade. It's important to do the shade next. You've got to darken down this grey. Here are the colours I'm using. It's the base colour, which is, of course, heavy charcoal and Vallejo model colour black. I like Vallejo's model colour black because it's very matte, which is important. Anyway, the point I'm making here is that I want to get very small amounts of this colour on the brush in order to go ahead and paint. Reason being is you don't want to just put big black marks on, on the model. So I'm demonstrating there. I'm just trying to take the paint off the brush before I go ahead and actually do it. And you can see there it's quite watered down. And there, see how that's barely any paint coming off that now. That's when you can start to apply it to the model. And you just work logically. What I do here is actually turn it upside down and then start to shade the top parts of the armour. The insides of the legs, um, places like that, where the where the, the light would naturally not hit. There you go, see? And the, the point here I'm making is that you should draw the brush along and the paint should almost be drying behind you. Very quick, there's so little paint on there and it means that you can keep going for quite a long time. Anyway, with this one I will let it run at uh, in, at a greater speed but there will be a set there's a second stage in there as well basically I add a third drop of black to the to the ratio to just do that final level of shade enjoy <laughs> Tiny Robot Armies by Quiet Music for Tiny Robots. Worried about Chinese toys there. Anyway, this is time for the for the highlight to go on. Uh, it's a two, I actually end up doing a three-step highlight, but it's the same thing. Um, start off with two drops of the base colour, which is charcoal grey, to one drop of any, any lighter grey, really. I use a blue lights grey from Vallejo. And then gradually work up add a drop at a time work the highlights up what you'll actually find is that the next cut will be me showing the finished um, the model with finished highlights then it's basically done I do the eyes and the base and then I just show it off to you see that that's the blue gray pale I use because I like a bluish hue to a, to a black I'll let you go right through to the end on some uh, on some tunes now, I think. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if you want to see anything particular. I'll do my best to make it happen. Cheers. There we go. Finished.